Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, yeah, I mean, I am, you know, you could say that I'm a prisoner of war, right? <laughs> One could say that I was a prisoner of war, right? Except that Glendale made me, motherfuckers. You know who doesn't forget genocide, my friends? Welcome to my play, The Armenian Quarter. Netanyahu is dead. When's that piece of art going to be put on somebody's pickup truck? I'd like to see that baby, baby hogtied. And if Zuck doesn't get this up, well, there's going to be hell to pay, my friends. Because I am seeing the ball so huge. that the world ain't ready for this jelly, <laughs> right? There was a genocide perpetrated against the Armenians by the Turks, the Turkish people. Where do you think the Israelis got the playbook, my friends? We're all one people. I'm a fucking actor. I was made by Hollywood because this stops now. Bibi Netanyahu went to fucking high school a stone's throw from my place, the Phonotechnion, in Philly, which I named the Phonotechnion without knowing Netanyahu had fucking gone to school. I named it because I wanted to fucking make a point about the Israeli military carceral state. Thank you, Ruth Wilson Gilmore. Thank you, Madonna. What the fuck is going on in this world, people? Netanyahu is a conservative. He didn't like hippies. All these years later, Rachel Maddow was exactly right, except she needs to fucking turn her focus to Biden and Bibi. Because Bibi is a strong man. And just look what's happening in the Israeli state right now, right? Dissent like never before. Make no mistake, my friends. October 7th was the beginning of the end of the Israeli terrorist state, just like 9-11 was the beginning of the end of the U.S. terrorist state. Don't tell me what's up, motherfuckers. I've been around the world and back again. Where's Carmen San Diego? I don't know, motherfucker. She's made up and so is this world. Biden has the audacity. Barack has the audacity. Bill Clinton, they are war criminals. Do you know how many people have been put behind bars here and around the world because of that triumvirate of hate? All the Democrats do in this country is whitewash, right? They make everything look better right? Biden is going to pull a Kennedy and say he's a God-fearing man who goes to mass every single week. Well, how does that square with subsidizing the genocide of an entire group of people and Jill Biden thinking she's a fucking professor? What, Northern Virginia Community College? Fuck my ass. It's garbage garbage what's going on in this world, right? And here's a term I want everybody to take away from this particular lesson. It's called queer washing, right? Who the fuck cares 
whether Biden issues a proclamation for transgender people or not. There's transgender Palestinians, people. They're dead. (laughs) Who cares if women have a right to abortion here? The women of Palestine are dead. Right? 70% of the casualties, that means the people who have been murdered by the Israeli, Israel combined, carceral, criminal state are women and children. So how the fuck does that square with Biden's fucking Catholicism? Guess what? It doesn't. Just like the Kennedys, right? Who were idiots, right? Know your history, people. The Bay of Pigs, to take one example, was a disaster. Those two motherfuckers, Kennedy and his stupid-ass brother, the father of RFK Jr., that's stupid-ass? They were assassinated because they were dimwits. They were destroying this country and they were destroying the world. How the fuck do you think you go into Cuba and walk out alive, right? Wake up, people. The Israeli blockade of Gaza, which is a historical reality, simply mirrors, karmically, if you will, the U.S. blockade of Cuba, which Barack didn't fucking do anything about, right? So fuck them and the white horses they rode in on. Bibi, Barack, Biden, and Bill, I think that's called assonance. No? Oh, look at the music. (laughs) I mean, look how beautiful this world is, right? And yet we have lunatics, and not in a good way, right? fucking spraying their seed all over the place because that's the only way they know how to feel good. Well, that's disgusting, right? Fucking get some manners, motherfuckers, right? If our kids at the playground acted like these fools, right, we'd say they weren't raised right. And yet these are the fools that most of you all continue to vote for. Right? Because somehow you think voting changes anything. Well, it doesn't, people. Voting is just another illusion. You know what I say to that? Fuck it. Because the only illusion I like to use is guns and roses. Use your illusion one and use your illusion two, people. I am a guns and roses stan from way back In the day, my friends, when I worked at Interview Magazine, Stephanie Seymour, Axel's ex, had an apartment upstairs. (laughs) That's 575 Broadway, people. I am a New Yorker through and through. I love Jewish people. Jewish people love me. Netanyahu is not a Jewish person. He's a secular heathen. And his ass is going to be handed to him sooner rather than later, just like Biden's ass is going to be handed to him. And make no mistake, I hate Trump too, with a passion. But as I've always stated, I was a never Biden person and a never Trump person. And remember, Tara Reid, I do. You know why? Because I read every day, lots of things. And I take excellent, excellent, excellent notes. As I was noting today, we are apparently in the midst of discussing the problem of humanism, Foucault remarked to his interlocutor, quote, but I wonder if in reality, we are not in the midst 
of referring to a much more simple problem, that of happiness. This is from 1967, people. Know your history because it repeats with a vengeance. I believe that humanism, Foucault continued, at least on the level of politics, might be defined as every attitude that continues, excuse me, getting ahead of myself. Let me restart. You can always do that, my friend. It's what I teach the youngsters when I'm blessed enough to have the opportunity. I live in Glendale. That's between Hollywood and Pasadena, people. Those are the two poles I swing between. I believe that humanism, at least on the level of politics, might be defined as every attitude that considers the aim of politics to be the production of happiness. Now, isn't that an interesting thought? What if, instead of bringing suffering and pain to one another, we thought about bringing happiness to one another? But you see, it's not that simple, right? Because as Foucault went on to say, now, I do not think that the notion of happiness is truly thinkable. Happiness does not exist, and the happiness of men exists still less. If anybody wants to study with me privately, I'm going to start my office hours. Happy to talk with you, my friends. $33 a pop for, I don't know, 33 minutes. How about that? Keep it simple. As long as men rule the world, as long as we think of the concept of men, indeed, as long as we think of the concept of the human, because again, Foucault, say what you will about him, but he was correct about everything. Foucault was speaking in 1967, as I just stated. Do the math on that one. Let go of the idea of the human and read your Sylvia Winter, my friends. There are no humans. We are simply homo sapiens or just, as I like to think, people. Now, if you'll excuse me, I washed my hair yesterday and I'm still working on it for my appointments this week. It is a Sabbath day. I celebrate both Saturday and Sunday and also Friday. Really, any day I can, I treat as a Sabbath because I do believe God wants us to be happy even if our fellow man doesn't. And if you can't be happy, do what I learned to do. become a connoisseur of cannabis. It's no different from wine, people. Okay? Get a grip. Lighten up. Get laid. Have some fucking fun. Okay? And if you've got something nasty to say to me, fucking don't say it. Right? Do something else. Okay? Try to be positive. Right? Because otherwise everything's so gray. Gotta leave it there, my friends. I do 15 minutes, no more. Say never more to genocide and interpersonal violence. Abuse is multi scalar, it affects individuals, families communities, nations, the world, and earth. Well, she's been crying out in pain for decades now. And apparently Obama 
neither of them can hear her say Mother Earth's name, my friend, and do what Jesus and Mohammed and Moses would do, be peaceful and spread that message.